Hey guys, it's Music Ninja Matt here, and I have not talked about wrestling in a while, and that is because I haven't watched it in a while. However, I did sit down to watch Money in the Bank with a friend from work, and so here are the points that I just wanted to talk about that were important to me. So we had the pre-show, and these things are always such a ball ache because they're usually utterly crap. The Money in the Bank promo itself for the match was fantastic, I thought it was brilliantly done and it was exciting it made me really excited for the match the match with Bree Zango and the golden truth golden truth what an awful tag team it's because they don't know what to do with our truth or gold dust and it was fun it was fun but i'm like this shouldn't be on a pay-per-view Bree Zango were all sunburn and so slaps and stuff really hurt them there we also had the dudley boys being wasted uh, not wasted as in intoxicated, wasted as in why did you come back guys just for WWE to shit all over you? You lost to the Lucha Dragons. And I like the Lucha Dragons. Well, I like Kalisto. But why are you doing this with the Dudleys? On the main show, we have tag team match and the New Day have actually really grown on me. I used to utterly hate them, but I think some of the stuff they're doing now is really funny. Kofi, as always, has an incredible move set. The guy may not be the strongest on the mic, but in ring, he's great. One thing I've realised about Enzo, I find him really entertaining. He just looks naff in the ring, because they always have him get the shit kicked out of him, and then he'll tag in Cass, and I'm like, let him do something. And overall, the ending of this match was really weak. It was clearly botched, how Big E was just kind of stood there, staring, looking round, why has no one cleared the ring yet so I can hit a big ending. This backstage segment we had with Chris Jericho, Alberto Del Rio and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is amazing. I don't know if it's scripted or if this guy, they just let him do what he wants. It's so funny, this backstage segment where Chris Jericho was like, oh, I didn't know you learned Spanish and Kevin Owens was like, no, I just learned the one word, he's always saying it. And Chris Jericho's new weird drink it in thing he's doing, I don't know if I like it or not. And see, every time Alberto Del Rio opens his mouth, I just fall asleep. However, later on in the night, I was like, fair play to Del Rio. The Corbin Dolph Ziggler match, we have these rivalries that just go on for ages and ages and it's just incredibly irritating to me to be honest obviously Dolph tripped up which was a little bit embarrassing for him but yeah like Corbin got the win and people are really starting to hate Dolph Ziggler just because they're not doing anything with him he's just there we had the women's championship match and I don't know why it is because they put on amazing matches down in NXT and then as soon as they come up to the main roster it just all seems to get weaker I mean, I was a huge fan of, like, Charlotte, and now people are starting to pick holes that maybe she's not that good, which is a little bit disappointing, in my opinion. We had Natalia's heel turn, which I saw coming a mile off, and it really, I guess it does something for the character. It changes her character for a little bit, but I doubt it will do much for her, but it allows her and Becky to feud, and, you know, it clears the space for the women's title. Dean Ambrose is a guy who's always great on the mic, even though sometimes he seems a little bit stuttery and stuff, it just works for his character because of how unhinged he is. Apollo Crews is a guy that I pretty much see as really generic and pretty much just Bobby Lashley, only I prefer Bobby Lashley, but he does have quite an impressive moveset. The ending to his and James's match I personally liked, a lot of people didn't because they were like, oh, roll up on pay-per-view. Whatever. Now, I had a theory with the whole AJ and John Cena thing. Obviously, Finn Balor has been part of the Bullet Club over in New Japan, and I thought we were going to have the ref get knocked out in the AJ Cena match, and then this would be the time for Finn to make his debut and align himself with AJ and the club. I thought that would have been cool. However, they didn't do this. The reversals that AJ was pulling off, like the fact that every Cena move that Cena always does to everybody AJ's there he's countering again and again it was really cool to watch we had a lot of cool corner spots just a lot of high risk moves as well but then it was a bit of a crappy ending with the club coming down and AJ not getting a clean win it just irritated me because AJ's just being crapped over quite a lot the money in the bank match was great probably my favorite match of the night 
it felt quite short for a Money in the Bank match, to be honest with you. We had some awesome corner spots, like Cesaro is awesome at the moment. I love the fact that he's face and he was doing the uppercuts, running around, doing that in the corner. I thought that was really cool. And this is where Del Rio surprised me because some of his moves were just incredible. He was utilizing the ladder really well with his new terrible finisher. Yeah, he's just so great in the ring. I think Del Rio comes across as more entertaining as a face. Because when he's a heel, he really does bore me on the mic. We had, of course, where I think it was Del Rio. Yeah, I, I'm fairly certain it was Del Rio had Cesaro in a cross arm breaker on top of the ladder. And then Kevin Owens kicked Alberto Del Rio with a super kick and then Cesaro did a spring jumped off the ladder springboard and uppercut to Kevin Owens it was really cool the Michinoku driver that Sami Zayn delivered to Kevin Owens like that hurt you knew that that hurt what a great spot and these two are always great together always put on good matches Del Rio had a really nasty landing at one point where he just kind of fell off the ropes and landed head first it was really kind of brutal they built that ladder bridge as well and i thought they were going to do the Sami Zayn, kevin owens like pile driver moment on it but really the bridge didn't do an awful lot and there wasn't any particularly cool spots on it which was a bit disappointing rusev versus titus was stupid because they bigged up the fact that it was father's day rusev won anyway and people made a really big deal about titus's kids because for one titus kissed his kid on the lips which comfortable and a bit odd I guess and as well the fact that Titus's kid like hit Rusev on the tit that was funny in the main event one of my favorite moves was the double suplex where we had the superplex Seth kind of rolled through hit another suplex that was cool it's stupid that we had two ref bumps in the same pay-per-view just kind of felt a little bit weak to me the spear into the pedigree was really cool and I felt that should have been the finish because then for him to just awkwardly pick him back up, do another pedigree and win, I was like, oh, okay then. And then, of course, to end it, my favourite superstar, Dean Ambrose, came down, cashed in money in the bank, and won. And it was the perfect way to set up the Shield triple threat. Money in the bank overall, pretty crap, to be honest. Pretty crappy. Didn't really grip me that much. I mean, I'm going to start, I'll probably start watching the pay-per-views again. Apart from that, like, I don't know, a lot of disappointment in there. But Dean's champ, so happy days. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed, give this video a like, comment, and subscribe as well. And don't forget, there is links down in the description below for you to check out, like my Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.